Hi, I'm Rebecca from Ingve. In this lesson, you'll learn the difference between two confusing pronouns, and they are I and me. Okay? Now, unfortunately, mistakes are being made everywhere with these two simple pronouns, okay? Whether you're reading on the internet or whether you're watching a show or anything else, you'll see people making lots of mistakes here. So it's very important that you watch this lesson so that you know what's right and you do what's right, especially if you're taking an exam like the IELTS or the TOEFL or the TOEIC or anything else, or if you're applying for a job, because this kind of mistake is a very basic mistake and you don't want to make it ever, okay? So I'm going to show you exactly how to know when to use I and when to use me, all right? So let's have a look. Now, as I said, we are focusing on I and me here. We, I do have another lesson in which I talk about all of the pronouns because sometimes all of them are mixed up. And I'll give you a link to that at the, in the lesson description. So you can go and watch that later if you want to get an overview of all of the pronouns. But let's start with this important one because very often we are talking about ourselves. And for that, we need to say I or me. All right, here we go. So first of all, both I and me are pronouns, okay? Now, the pronoun basically takes the place of a noun. All right, that's a grammatical explanation. Don't worry about it too much. The most important thing that you have to remember here is that I is used as the subject of a sentence and it does the action in a sentence, all right? And me is an object. It receives the action of the sentence. All right? To understand exactly how that works, let's look at some examples. So here we said, I called Steve. And I is the subject, right? I called. So I am doing the action. Whereas here, Steve called me. Now, Steve is doing the action, so the, uh, Steve is the subject, and me here is the object, right? Yes, I heard you say that. Yes, it's correct. Okay, Steve called me, so I received the action, I received the call, okay? Here I made the call, so I did the action, there I received it, got it? It's always like that, okay? I is always gonna be the one that does the action, me is the one that receives the action. All right, let's look at some more examples. I talked to Mary, okay? Again, I is the subject, and so we used it here. And here, Mary talked to me, all right? So here, we have me again as the object, which received the action. Who was the subject here? Mary, all right? Mary was the subject here, Steve was the subject here. But here we're focusing on what's the object? Me. Now, another clue to know that you need to use me and not I is because we see here a preposition, right? Two. So whenever you see a preposition after that, what needs to follow is a object pronoun, not the subject pronoun. So to me, for me, before me, after me, with me, okay? All that kind of thing. Or even here, Steve called me, Steve texted me, Steve asked me, Steve answered me, okay? But again, me, 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 all right? When it's, and you'll see that it's usually at the end of the sentence, whereas the subject is at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, so that's the basic stuff. This is when we have one subject or one object. So that's the basics. Now, where do people make most of the mistakes when somehow when we have multiple subjects or multiple objects? So even though they know this rule most of the time, most people, somehow when there are multiple subjects or objects, for some reason, people get a little bit confused. So that's okay. Let's clarify all your confusion right now. So let's look at this example. Sarah and I are friends. Okay, so here we had more than one subject, we had a compound subject, but we still have to say I because it's a subject, okay? Sarah and I, all right? Not Sarah and me, Sarah and I. Because, and also another way you can tell, take out Sarah and then you say I am friends, right? We don't say me am friends. 
or something like that. So you have to use I here, but let's look at the other side of the equation. The gift is from Sarah and me, all right? And again, you saw here that there's a preposition, so that gave you a clue, right? But Sarah and me, not Sarah and I. Also, what you can do here, take out Sarah. The gift is from I, no, we don't say that. The gift is from me, from me, to me, for me, all that, okay? So the gift is from Sarah and me. All right, got it? Good. Next, Bob and I had lunch, okay? Again, subject, Bob and I. I had lunch, not me had lunch, I had lunch. Or here, they promoted Bob and me. Okay, again, receiving the action, okay? They is the subject here, and this is the object. There are multiple objects, that's okay. Even if it's a multiple object, still, needs to be me, if you're deciding between I and me. Last one here, you and I are in this photo, okay? You and I, all right? Now also pay attention to the order here. I didn't say I and you, I didn't say I and Bob, I didn't say I and Sarah, I said Sarah and I, Bob and I, you and I. So what's important is the I always comes last, whether you have even if you had five people's names, right? Or three people's names, Bob, Sarah, and I. But I comes last because it's more polite like that. Okay, so you and I are in this photo and here it's the subject, so we used I. But in this sentence, it's you and me in this old photo. It is who? You and me. Now, very often also, after the verb is, we use the object pronoun, me, okay? It's me, not it's I, it's me. It's you and me in this old photo. Did you get that? We're gonna find out in just a second when we do some uh, examples, okay? Some practice. That's the best way to learn anything. Lots of practice. We're gonna do that. All right, so now let's start putting these words into real sentences, okay? So your choices are I, which is for a subject, or me if it's an object. Okay, here we go. My friends and blank planned the party. Should it be I or me? My friends and I. Okay, because it's the subject of the sentence. You got it. Next, this shirt doesn't fit blank. I or me? This shirt doesn't fit me. Okay? Again, receiving the action. All right? Good. Jack and blank met the client today. I or me? Think about it. Is it a subject? Is it an object? What is it? Is it doing the action? Is it receiving the action? It's the subject and therefore we need to say I. Okay? Jack and I met the client. Who's receiving the action in this sentence? Who's the object? It's the client, right? Met the client. All right, number four. Robert, Jane, and blank work together. Is it I or me? Think about it. Now we have several names in a row, but are they part of the subject or are they part of the object? They are part of the subject. So therefore we have to say, Robert, Jane, and I work together. You got it. Good. No more of these basic mistakes for you. No way. All right, number five. She called blank yesterday. I or me? Is it a subject? Is it an object? Think. She called me. Okay? So she was the subject. Called is the verb, right? And called who? Me. So I received the action. So the word you have to use is me, the object. Good. Is this for what? Blank. Is it I or me? Is this for me? 
okay? Again, you have a clue because you have the preposition for. For me, from me, after me, with me, right? I know you might get tired of hearing it, but it's when you hear it again and again that eventually it becomes a voice in your mind, not just my video, but in your mind, so that whenever you're going to speak or you're going to write, those wor this word me will come to you automatically, which is what you want, the way it does in your own language, okay? It will flow more easily and you can say it. Say it out loud as much as you can. Say these sentences out loud to yourself. Go back, watch the video again and read the sentences. Read the correct sentences. The more you hear it, the more easily you will remember it and say the right things or write the correct ones. Next, number seven. Bob and blank are leaving early. I or me? Think about it. Is it a subject? Is it an object? It's a subject. Good. So we need to say I. Okay. Bob and I are leaving early. Good. Last, the last one here. They thanked blank many times. Okay. I or me. Is it a subject? Is it an object? Okay. It is an object. So we need to say me. They is the subject here. Okay. Me is the object. They thanked me many times. All right. I think you've got this. All right. It's so important. But here's a little something that I think will help you to remember. Okay. I was going to tell you earlier, but I'm going to tell you now. This is just a sentence you could say to yourself to help you remember whether to use I or me. So the sentence is, I'll call you or you call me. All right. You see here it's the subject, here it's the object. I'll call you or you call me. All right. Sounds good. Thanks for, wa for watching all the way to the end because this is such an important subject. You really don't want to make this kind of mistake ever in anything official. Uh, it's different. Even when you're speaking, speak correctly. Okay. Don't try to use slang. Even if you hear people saying that, don't do that. This is sort of very fundamentally important, correct English. All right. So master it. And don't forget to subscribe so you can keep getting lessons like this, which will help you to learn much more quickly, much more easily. I just try to focus on what really matters. I don't try to cover everything, only the things that really make a difference to you. Okay. So subscribe. And I learned recently that on YouTube, you not only have to subscribe, you also have to do something called ringing the bell. So next to the subscribe button, there's a bell. And if you ring it, it means that it, they will notify you whenever I have a new lesson. Okay. Because when you subscribe, then I guess you want to know when I have a new lesson. All right. And that's true for all your subscriptions, by the way. So remember that. Okay. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to go to ingvid.com to do a quiz on this so you can really master it. All right. We always have quizzes. We have almost always, and we have more than a thousand lessons. So go there and continue to improve your English. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.